Hey guys, Britcoin here with another one of your new 2013 LEGO Legends of Chima sets. This is the Ultimate Speeder Tournament and it's set number 70115. This is the front of your box. And here's the back. This set has 246 pieces and it costs about $30. Um, I think it's a nice little set and it's one of the, the tournament ones. So let's go ahead and move the close up and look at all the details on it. Alright, before we get to the minifigures, I wanted to go ahead and show you the cards. Um, much like with the spinners from Ninjago, um, each speeder does have five cards with it. And so these are the five that come with the uh, Crocodile Cragger. And then you also have five right here that come with the Lion, Laval, so those are total you get 10 cards in this set. Um, you also get 12 of the little chi orbs here. You get 12 of these and they are identical. Kind of hard to see on the, the blue background I know. But you have 12 of those. And so I'm going to show you, um, as you can see I've got uh, Laval off of his spinner but Cragger is on spinner I mean speeder I'm sorry about that um, I guess I'm just too used to Ninjago calling them spinners um, anyway but Cragger is on his speeder so I'll go ahead and show you Laval's speeder first you can see the the metal wheel in between here and this is the side of his speeder the front and the other side and you can see the way this is shaped right here is so that you can fold their legs and put them inside here you just pop this top part off and put them inside the way this one is and it holds them in so that whenever you you know you do have them racing they your minifigures don't just fall off or anything like that um, they tend to stay on there very well which was a very well thought out design, in my opinion. Um, so I'll go ahead and set these aside. I'll go ahead and show you the, this figure since I have it up here. This is the, the speeder for Cracker. You can see the, the teeth on here. Pretty neat. And this is Cracker himself. And you can see the face underneath there. The regular minifigure face. And there's the back with the cape. And your other minifigure is Laval. And this is the, the minifigure um, that in another set I actually uh, had messed up. Um, there was just a mistake whenever Lego was uh, making the set that I had and I got the wrong headpiece with it. Um, I'm just waiting on Lego to send me the new one. It's not going to be a problem to get the new one at all. So, And I probably will go ahead and make a video on that whenever I do get it uh, just to explain everything to you guys. But it may take some time uh, for them to ship it to me. But it'll get here. So here is the, the headpiece that I was actually missing from another set. As far as I know it's the exact same headpiece, I would think so anyway. But so those are the figures you get. And you also have two of the the chi weapons here. You know, this is the lion's one right here with the blue. You can see the lion head on there. And this one is the crocodiles. 
And I'll go ahead and show you the way the speeders work. You do have a rip cord for each. This is the, the yellow one, and you have a green one for the crocodile. And if you'll look from the top, you just put this in right here. And I'm going to turn this some. Uh, the way that this particular set goes is you're supposed to pull the rip cord and then let it hit that. And as you can see, it does work very well. Um, if you have this, uh, if you do this in the floor or something, this thing will go very, very far. Um, I just don't have the, the room to show you right here. But take my word for it, uh, these things work very, very well. I think that's is really cool, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. Um, on the back of this box, it kind of shows you how to set it up. Kind of. Um, this is the, uh, I guess, kind of the, the goal, or it looks like a, a target to me right here. So that they go through this, and this right here sits right here on there. And so when they go through this, it comes up and hits that. And as fast as it goes through, it makes this go flying. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to set that right there for right now. And so here's the back side of this. You can see the lion head there. But put that right there. I'm going to try and, and kind of show you how it's lined up on the box. After that, you have uh, these little cones with fire coming out of it, which there are two of them, as you can see. And by looking at the box, it, it appears that it's just kind of a, a guideline to show where they need to go through. So kind of just to go through the middle of there. And then here's a little ramp for them to use. Ramp up. And I'm going to have to move some stuff so closer together so you can see everything. Normally this would be more spread out, but to show you for the review, I'm trying to put it closer together. Then you have this right here. So the speeder would come through down here, and this would go flying normally. And then it would come through and go up the ramp and knock this off. And this is the, the top part here. You do have two of these in this set. You got the little bowl up there for that. And here's the bottom part that just holds that. It just sits in right there. It's not actually attached, so it's very easy for them to knock it off if they hit it. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Um, I think it's a pretty neat little tournament set. I'll try and show you the box a little bit more because I think the box, the pictures on the box explain pretty well. Let me move this. You'll be able to see the box better. You can see that right there is what I was setting up, showing you. And then if I can move the camera a little bit, I can show you the top of the box. And right there kind of shows you the path that the speeder is supposed to take. You can see it goes under there, through those, up the ramp, and over to hit that. So. Anyway, um, that's basically how that works. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, please don't also please don't forget to favorite. Um, and if you like this review, be sure to watch my other Lego Legends of Chima reviews that I've done so far, and there's more coming soon. Um, and in the meantime, I'll be doing a lot of other reviews also. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.